right, in this video, we're going to look at number two to the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at idomath.weebly.com. Now, number two, we are trying to divide and multiply fractions, and we want to divide first and then multiply. We do not multiply before we divide unless the multiplication comes first. We multiply and divide from left to right. Whichever one comes first, from the left to the right, that's the first operation that we do. So therefore, we want to divide these two fractions first, and if you saw number one that I worked out previously, we actually had to divide those mixed numbers, but we did turn this into a multiplication problem. Keep, change, flip. So therefore, this part right here, I'm going to keep this part, five over six, change your division to multiplication, and then flip this fraction right here. This is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, I can go ahead and bring this on down as well, times 3 fourths, because now really all we're doing here is just multiplying three fractions. I changed this part here, keep, change, flip, and now all we have is straight up multiplication. Now from here, you can just go ahead and multiply all of your top numbers together. So five times seven, that's 35. 35 times three, that's gonna be 105. I will worry about simplifying right here in a moment. Six times two is 12. 12 times four is 48. Now we can simplify this fraction. It is an improper fraction, but that's totally fine. Let's divide these by three because three will go into both of these numbers. 105 divided by three, well that's gonna take us right back to that 35 and I'll show you a shortcut to get to this answer right here in a second. And 48 divided by three, that's gonna leave us with what? 16 right there, so 35 over 16 is going to be our simplified answer here. Now, one more way I wanna show you this is looking at this part right here and what we could have done before we multiplied and got the 105 over 48. If you look at your top numbers and your bottom numbers, a shortcut with multiplying fractions is that if you can divide anything before you do the multiplication, for example, I can divide this by three and I get one, I can divide this six by three and I get two. Now, nothing else will divide, like the fives won't divide with any of this stuff, and the seven will not divide with any of this stuff either. Now, we can go ahead and multiply. Five times seven times one, that's 35. Two times two, that's four. Times four more, that's 16. So that's another way we can get to that same answer. And actually, that's a very good tip to keep in mind. You can cancel out or divide by a common factor as long as we are multiplying these fractions here. And there you have it, problem number two for the free ATIT's math practice test. Again, you can find this over at idomath.weebly.com. There's a link in the description below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.